Hello and welcome to Fantasy Football Corner. I am your host, Yoshi De La Cruz. Before we start this week's episode, I would like to make a very serious announcement that I will not be making any comedic jokes regarding Penn State University or any of the negative occurrences that have popped up over there this week. Taking advantage of other people, raping them at your own will, is completely and utterly unacceptable. I don't care if the Green Bay Packers do it in the NFL every single week to the other teams. Jerry Sandusky, these young collegiate athletes at Penn State are not Wes Welker. They were not born and created to catch your balls. And for that, I hope that you spend a very, very long time in jail, or at least are relegated to a lifetime of coaching women's soccer, which I presume would really, really suck for you. On a lighter note, we've got a great show today that is sponsored by the company Excedrin. Excedrin makes a great little peel that temporarily relieves minor aches and pains due to muscular aches, headaches, colds, toothaches, or premenstrual and menstrual cramps. Ew. Well, I was correct in projecting that Roy Henry would take over as the Washington Redskins running back last week. He was a complete animal as he put up a bunch of all-purpose yards along with many nice receptions. You still have to be careful with coach Mike Shanahan. He seems to go one way or the other every single week and completely screws over fantasy football owners. In fact, I'm going to start substituting the word screwed for Shanahan. Last night I was out at the club and I met this beautiful young woman. We'd really hit it off and I brought her back to my flat and um, I shanahan her twice and then once again this morning in the shower. <laughs> Miles Austin is to injuring his hamstring as I am to drinking glasses of Pinot Grigio this year. We both just, you know, do it a lot. Which makes room for wide receiver Laurent Robinson, who's shown great chemistry with quarterback Tony Romo in the two to four weeks that Miles Austin is expected to be out. I would say that Lauren Robinson is a very plausible start for the Dallas Cowboys and is uh, definitely going up on my list. Earl Bennett from the Chicago Bears stepped up this week on Monday Night Football and showed to the fantasy football world his value, which was great to see. And Jay Cutler kind of steps into a role of an adequate, possibly startable quarterback, which is much better than the previous Jay Cutler that we have seen, who is a pretty shitty quarterback dealing with a mild case of diabetes. Now you suck. In week 8, Joseph Adai dressed, but he didn't play. In week 9, Joseph Adai dressed, but he didn't play. Now my mum from England tells me that I'm a little slow on the uptake, um, but I'm noticing a trend here. No Sean Moreno is so bad that the Denver Broncos would rather start a dude with a broken hand instead of him. So if anybody in the Denver area is familiar with the general manager of an Applebee's or something like that, you should probably get them in touch with No Sean because he's probably looking for a new job. Last year, Mike Williams of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had 11 touchdown receptions on the season. This year, he's on pace for two, which makes me rather want to start Agatha Christie on my fantasy team than him. What did you say? Oh, Agatha Christie's dead. Well, I still stand by my statement. <laughs> When you mail a letter We have a letter from Thomas Greiner who um, asks me whether he should start Steve Smith this week against Tennessee or Larry Fitzgerald uh, at Philadelphia. Thomas, keep in mind that Larry Fitzgerald is now playing under a new quarterback. Sometimes that takes a little while to develop the chemistry. And right now, the chemistry between Cam Newton and Steve Smith is just as good as that of Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. Gregory B. Carlson writes in, he says that uh, Jim Harbaugh this week was quoted as calling Alex Smith an elite quarterback. Do you consider Alex Smith an elite quarterback? Greg, for fantasy football purposes, is the moon made of cheese? Is Mississippi west of Nevada? Do women find me attractive? The answer is no. No, 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 no. Alex Smith is doing a great job winning games and not making mistakes for his team. But in terms of fantasy football purposes, he's, he's not a starting quarterback. He, he's possible if you have a bye week for one of your quarterbacks, but nothing other than that.
Thank you so very much for tuning in to Fantasy Football Corner, the premier fantasy football web series on the interweb. I was your host, Yoshi Dera Cruz, and I'm here to remind you that if you forgot to set your clock back for daylight savings time last week, then you've been arriving an hour early to everything.